Oh god! Where did you come from? This is such a good uh, battle theme. And yeah, another person who's going to shake my hand for 10 minutes. Hey everyone, welcome back to my Let's Play Pokemon Sword. Last episode we left it when we just defeated the fighting type gym leader. And I believe Hop wants to see us, but I can't remember. It's been a while since I last left it. Anyway, let's just head out and see what's going on. And we need to explore Stone Side, I believe. Bow walk. Oh, here's Sonya again. Looks like my Yampa really likes you, huh? Anyway, we've run into each other at a good time. You know the mural here in Stoneside? It's said to tell the story of the hero of Galar as well. Though what's there today is actually a replica of the ancient art that used to be here. You tend to have surprisingly sharp insights, so I was wondering what you might think when you see the ruins. Well, it's very nice of you to know my intelligence, Sonya. Very nice. Thank you. Kaboom. Oh, that doesn't seem good. I wonder who made an explosion. What? What in the world was that? Sounds like it came from the direction of the ruins too. Well, that's not good. Let's have a look. Come along, Yampa. Okay, you're just gonna leave me here. O okay, bye, Sonya. Um, do you want me to go? Or should I just continue on? Or... I feel like plot has uh, me go that way and there's someone blocking this way as well so let's just head up here and see what I can see. Cap cap. You want me to wear a cap? I feel like my character would look better with a beanie. Maybe I will put one of those on soon but let's just run up here and see what's going on. What's going on up there? Well, I don't know. I haven't been up there. Why don't you- You're the adult here. You go take a look. I'm just a little girl. Honestly, the adults in this game just, like, love to put kids in danger. It's kind of messed up when you think about it. Oh, it's Bead and a Copper Raja. Destroy it. Destroy it all. We're going to find those wishing stars. Well, that's not very nice, is it? We've got to bring the chairman more wishing stars if we want to please him. You're just a little suck up, aren't you? You have no idea what the chairman is doing, do you? Copper Roger, if you're truly the chairman's Pokemon, then you should feel grateful for this chance to help him find wishing stars. Oh, do I have to battle this guy? Are my Pokemon all healed up? Yep, and Copper Roger is a steel type so I feel like my team isn't very good against it but let's just put Joker to the front anyway. Joker is also going to evolve soon so I'm very happy about that. Oh my you again. So you think that you can start collecting wishing stars now and get in the chairman's favour? No not really I just want to stop you from being a little nasty piece of work. Sorry for the bad uh, quotes, I've got to keep this PG. That's the way of things, is it? I see, so you do have some cunning in you. But I won't have it. I won't allow anyone stand in my way. Oh, you're on. Look at that smug smile. I like all the little animations and little quirks each character has, even though this guy's really obnoxious. Okay, do ocean. Uh, that's simple, just water pledge. Okay, it's survived. I've already seen more than enough to judge you and your team's abilities. Reflect isn't going to help you, I'm using special type moves. And now your duo ocean is dead, I hope you're happy. Oh, two levels up. That's pretty nice. Night Slash. 
I think I... Let's just see. That's a physical move, and... I mean... It's stronger than Snarl. I know in obvious, uh, physical attack isn't very good, but... Night Slash can land crits as well, so let's go with that. And I'm confused why I have an item on him when he's got Unburdened. Tatram. Okay. That's the weird candle looking thing. Anticipation. Okay, this should be fairly simple. My partner's move is simply splendid, wouldn't you say? Psybeam. Is that it? I was expecting something better, but once again you disappoint me. Just like you disappoint everybody. Is that why you're so obnoxious? And skull got a level up. Got the Rita. Sure, let's... Let's go Inari, just... And here I thought I had to face against Copper Raja, but it really it's just a bunch of psychic types. I should have used Inari from the start. Okay. Special defense is pretty good, I think. So, or physical defense. Oh no, it was the reflect. That's my bad. I forget it a lot, so this should do a lot more, hopefully. Yep, there we go. Sorry, bead. And you have a ponyta too. I have to win this for the chairman. Do you really think I'd let you keep me from everything I want? Well, yeah, that's my job as a protagonist. To make you see the error of your ways. I really like Galarian Ponytown in this game. Its mane looks like cotton candy. I was very, very tempted to use one, but... It's a case of, I wanted to use all brand new Pokemon, or Pokemon I've never used before. Um, I've used a Ponytail before, so I decided against it. And it's dead. Joker is... Almost close to level 35. This has to be some kind of mistake. I demand a do-over. Sorry, no do-overs for you. With your grandma hair. Your obnoxious pink coat. But why? How could this be? How could someone like you get in my way? I was the one chosen by the chairman. I was the one who was to defeat the champion. I'm one of the elite. Someone who can shoulder the future of the Galar region. No, you're just a delusional child who's been fed lies by someone who's using you. Challenger B. I hate this woman's face. It's so, like, just uninteresting and just, like, she's constantly bored. Like a resting bitch face. I wondered what you were up to when you asked to borrow Chairman Rose's copper Raja. I can't believe you tried to use the chairman's Pokemon to destroy a historical site. Who cares for some ancient ruin when the next thousand years are at stake? Did you stand in the path of the Pokemon Simple Beam or something? How do you expect to support the chairman with that sort of thinking? <laughs> That's actually a really funny insult. <laughs> hey dad! Young Bead. It pains me to have to say this but... I am truly disappointed. Oh, you are one manipulative piece of work. It's true that I am the one who found you back when you were all alone. 
I saw talent in you. You reminded me a, a little bit of myself back when I was young. That's why I sent you to a trainer's school to give you a chance at success. But trying to destroy the mural, part of Galar's history, you show no love towards Galar. You are clearly not a worthy challenger for the gym challenge. We will decide what to do with you later. For now, you will return to Hammerlock. Welp, that's not good. Sorry, Bead. Look at that face! Oh my god! <laughs> he is so distraught. You, you must be joking, right? You're disqualifying me from the gym challenge, but you're the one who endorsed me. There are a hundred different ways we could sort this out. Why are you choosing the worst possible option? Challenger Bead, I will be taking those wishing stars that you have gathered. See, this guy was just using this kid. It's kind of messed up when you think about it. Ah, Sonia, and Jess too. Terrible shame, all this. An absolute disaster. I never wish to see us lose challenges for this sort of reason. Yet we do what we must do to keep things fair and sportsmanlike. You're the one who's causing all this. <clears throat> At least, that's the impression I get. I really don't trust that guy. Or Oleana, either. You know, during one of Bede's matches, I heard the announcers say that Bede has no family. Apparently it was Rose who took Bede under his wing and so Bede was battling for the chairman's sake. I also hope I'm pronouncing his name right. Otherwise I'm going to look kind of... Uh, stupid. What an awful turn of events. I hope the mural survived all that. Don't worry, it looks good still. Oh. Famous last words? Oh, that's... tragic. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, so... Zashian and Zamazenta were siblings then. And Sonya got an idea, apparently. Or had an idea. Not a brilliant turn of events, but the ruins were brought into the light for us to see. What does this tell us about Galar's legend? A sword and shield? Right, more than any hero, there's those things that appear to be Pokemon that stand out. Not just that, but those Pokemon appear to be holding a sword and shield as if they were using them. Anything else look interesting to you? Yeah, there are people in the background. The hero was actually two people. Oh, good observation. There really were two heroes, but if that's the case, then why only the one statue did Buddy drop in? Someone that took the credit, maybe? More than any statue of a hero or old tapestry, these runes made in truly ancient times must show us the real truth. Which means... The sword is a Pokemon. Yep, I was thinking the same thing. Well, technically, they're both Pokemon, but... Seems like at some point in the history, the sword and shield were combined with the two actual Pokemon and treated as the same thing. But then what? They just faded from history? Two young heroes, the sword and shield were actually Pokemon. But why would the truth of these runes be hidden when their stories were depicted in artwork? Again, someone probably wanted fame uh, and became the false legend. Or false hero, I should say. With your help, I really feel like we made a big discovery here. Thanks, I'll give you a couple of these so you keep giving it your best in the gym challenge too, okay? Guess you'll be headed to Balonlia next. Balonlia? That's a weird town name. And two more revives. Thanks for the hand-holding. I don't need any more revives, but thanks, I guess. I feel it was more artistic before it got destroyed. Really? I prefer it like this. It's the statues that were hidden behind someone's side's famous mural. They depict two heroes and two Pokemon. Okay. What's this? The hero was actually two people and Pokemon? That young lady Sonya. She's researching the truth about the ruins, right? Could she be the granddaughter of Professor Magnolia? Well, yeah. Her name is Sonia Magnolia. 
I think. Unless the professors use their no, the professors don't use their first names. They use their surname, so... Okay, I can head down here now. I wonder what awaits us. In the Glimwood Tangle. I really like how mystical this looks. But look, it's Impy Dimp. And <laughs> they just run away. Okay. Let's see. Oh, Morgrim. I'm very, very tempted to use one of these. But... I've already decided on my last two team members, so I can't go against that now. This was also the place that was in the 24 hour stream where uh, we saw a uh, Galarian Ponyta hinted at and then revealed. Impudent was also in that, but they never formally revealed Impudent for whatever reason. I remember people uh, speculating that they thought Impudent was a mythical or the pseudo-legendary of this gen because of that. Oh? He doesn't evolve at level 36, that's interesting. Look at this boy. My child is an adult now. Inteleon. Like, that should be the name for like a smart evolution. It has many hidden capabilities such as fingertips that can shoot water and a membrane on its back that it can use to glide through the air. I preferred it with the emo haircut. Like, I feel like it's a little bit weird. It goes from that little chameleon to like an edgy chameleon with purple hair to like a... Uh... Bipedal lizard with uh, a spy theme, but I still like his design. And he's six foot three inches. That's super tall, actually. Joker wants to learn the move snipe shot. Yes, we shall learn snipe shot. This is his signature move. The use ignores the effects of opposing Pokemon's moves and abilities. That drawing moves allowing this move to hit the chosen target. Okay, that's interesting. So it ignores things like Storm Drain, I believe. And let's just get rid of Water Pledge now. This guy looks so cool. I really like Inteleon. I'm tempted to play with him in Pokemon Camp, to be honest, but... We need to progress for now. Hmm. So it has a very like creepy mystical kind of vibe. It's really odd. What do we have here? A Shinotic. He actually glided a little bit. Look at this boy. No, we're not gonna fight this thing. Let's just go. He's got such a smug expression as well. Hmm. Like, the music I can hear in this uh, kind of reminds me of like horror games. So we have an impudent here. Let's just. Can I... What? Why can't I... I'm so confused. And it's a Passimian, okay. Hey. Are you looking for mushrooms? They give off a light when you touch them. Okay. Mushrooms that glow. Pretty sure that's... Not a safe thing. I was also told the evolution for this thing is kind of strange. You just like uh, spin around or something because you're whipping cream and that's how you get alchemy. So that's kind of odd. Anyway, let's just use snipe shots. Oh, 
Okay, that was cool. That was a really cool animation. I feel like Inteleon is going to be one of my favorite Gen 8 Pokemon, to be honest. I don't remember what he said he was using, but... I think Crow is a safe bet. Mm. Oh, it's not it, okay. That's fine, I can just drill pet this thing. I'm not sure where this leads uh, to, whether it's another route or just the next town, but... Oh, and of course it has effect spore. That's actually so annoying, but... Oh well. We can deal with that. Sinistry. That's the weird ghost teapot, I think. Uh, and it's yeah, it's a ghost type, so Inari can handle this. I like the different uh, coloured mushrooms that are glowing in the background. It's kind of a nice touch. Oh, it's it's a teacup, not a teapot. Okay, that's. Doing nothing. This battle is going on for a lot longer than I wanted it to, but it's over now, I think. I hope. Okay. I defeated Cook Derek. Hey, a strong trainer, that's rarer than their mushrooms. Okay. Do you want me to battle you again? This is really, really weird. It's almost dreamlike. A bag of bright powder. Okay, that's not useful, but thanks, game. I could see myself getting lost here, but I think it's a fairly straight path, so... The railways are amazing. They can carry lots of people and Pokemon at once. I came to ride a Galar train. I wonder if meeting you will change my life. How do those two sentences have anything to do with each other? But trains in the UK are not amazing to be honest. Especially the subway and underground. It's just... It's just horrible. <clears throat> really hot and uh, sweaty and stuffy. Curly has punk rock now. That's Interesting. We're gonna knock out this Nine Tails with Joker and we're gonna use Toxic on the Curlier because why not? I just can't get over how cool this animation is. It actually reminds me of Joker from Persona 5 as well with how he does the certain gunshot uh, special move things. Two level ups. Nice. Hopefully it doesn't use Psychic or anything, because I don't think Joker could handle it. Okay, Psybeam. That's cool. And another Snipe Shot should take this down. And Spark, why not? This guy is actually so cool. I've said that a few times already, but... Hmm, okay. Daring couple, Robert and Jacqueline. A good way to forget the trouble of this loss would be to ride the train. Too strong, guess I'll look for someone I can actually beat. Try a level 2 blip bug. You might have a little bit of luck there. I'm very tempted to have one episode where I go back and just try and catch as many Pokemon as I can because I do want to try and complete the Pokedex this time around. But we will see. It depends whether uh, I get enough interest in the rest of the episodes I do. Okay, we're heading on to a clearing or something. Oh my god, look at this place!
Wow. This town actually looks so, so, uh, I don't know what the word is, but mesmerizing, I guess. All the lights and stuff look so nice and everything. I like this place. Let's just heal up and then uh, see if we can buy anything new. Look at my boys and girls. They're starting to grow up a little bit. Let's see. Oh, I can buy hyper potions now. That's useful. So let's just get a few of these. And repels. They might be useful, so I'll just grab a few of these as well. Oh yeah, I need to do these as well, because... Again, Pokédex issues and whatnot. I have hardly any Pokémon on here. I was loading to sound quite unexpectedly. This place is a bit hard to describe. Mesmerizing. There you go. One word. It describes the place. Glowing mushrooms, mysterious mushrooms. They're all the pranks of fairy type Pokémon. Yeah, fairy types seem to be kind of like mischievous in this game. If you get lost in Glimwood Tangle, it's probably the work of fairy type Pokemon. Okay, but I didn't get lost. It's actually kind of uh, easy to get through it. No, I don't want to write nicknames. What I want to do is see what other moves Joker can learn. Oh, acrobatics. Sure, it's coverage, so we can get rid of Bind that way as well, because Bind isn't very good, in my opinion. Joker forgot Bind, and it learned Acrobatics instead. And um, let's just have a look to at Toxicity. Shockwave might be better than Spark, actually. Uh, there's just more damage, but this is special, so yeah, let's give it a spark. It will do more damage overall because my special attack is higher. Nope, I'm good for now. I'll be back when uh, Corvus Squire evolves, so. Okay, let's just explore this place. It looks pretty nice. Then I think I will wrap up the episode. Every time I meet Granny Opal, she tells me I should wear more pink, the old bat. <laughs> wow, kid. That's rude. Respect your elders. I'm a Pokemon. Have a battle with me. Listen for a second. Skullbunny and Sizzlipede are different species, but they're still both Pokemon. Skullbunny and I are different species, just like Sizzlipede and I are different too. If you think about it that way, there's no problem with calling me a Pokemon. I don't mind. What? You don't have to worry about me? Even I know it's pretty lofty logic. I I wanted to become a Pokemon once. You can be one, I guess? Don't let your dreams be dreams. Hey, I've got it. A change of fashion style could change the way I feel too. Basically, if I can make myself feel the way a Pokemon does, it'd be like I became a Pokemon, don't you think? You, would you please put on some clothes with a fiery spirit that embodies my burning feelings? Um... No... You're asking a little girl to dress up for you, that's kind of weird. So I'm just going to go over here and run away from you. Because you're a creepy old man. Opal has been a gym leader for a long, long time. Well, yeah, have you seen her face? She's about 50,000 years old. Opal's gym stadium is also a small theatre. Okay, that's cool. I can uh, see that, actually. Finding your way through Glimwood Tangle is a first sight easier if you give the mushrooms a little nudge to light them up. Okay, so I didn't explore all of it then. Huh, I might have to do that off screen. If I do, if I find anything interesting, then I will uh, fit it in somewhere. 
but I'm just going to head back and explore it and I will see you guys soon. Okay, and we're back. I didn't really see many interesting things. I got a couple of TMs and that's about it really. I got U-turn and snow I think. And I also picked up a luminous moss while I was there. So yeah, there wasn't really much to see. So I'm just going to cut that whole part out because you don't want to see me running around a forest for like 15 minutes. Okay, let's continue exploring here. Oh, look at you, defeated Stoneside's gym leader. You probably know your way around a TM like this one in that case. Hex. Okay, that's... That's not useful at all. Having your Pokemon learn moves of a different type can be a real help, you know. Yeah, I know. Evolution is a bit tricky for Pokemon trainers. If a Pokemon evolves, it'll get stronger, but its appearance will change. Do you want to know how to make your Pokemon strong without it evolving? Use an Eviolite. Okay, I'll teach you while battling. Let's have a Pokemon battle. Okay, more unnecessary grinding. Actually, it might be necessary because I don't know what the level of uh, the next gym is, so... It's this weird, like... Uh, D20 looking thing. Uh, it's a bug psychic and it's weak to U turn, which is interesting. But let's use my favourite move Snipe Shot. Okay, this thing definitely has an evil light on it. Okay, and you use. Light screen, so acrobatics now. If you like, it's actually so annoying in some situations. At least I think it's holding an EV light, either that or it's just got really strong defenses. But I'm sure we'll find out by the end of the battle. Please don't have another one. I don't want to waste time today. I didn't expect you to be able to breach Dotless Solidity. Okay. Even though my Dotler hasn't evolved yet, it was hard to take down, wasn't it? Well, it wasn't hard, it was more annoying. The secret is this Eviolite. Yep, I called it. A mysterious evolutionary lump. When held by a Pokemon that can still evolve, it raises both defense and special defense. If you let a Pokemon that can still evolve hold this Eviolite that a Pokemon's... I literally just read that out. Why did it feel the need to put that twice? This game really wants to just like push what certain things do. There's a... Why is there a random Chin Chow? That's odd. You found TM22 rest. That's not useful, but thanks anyway, game. You found a bomb mushroom. And I believe it's just a gym left to go. So... I'm gonna wrap it up here. Next episode, we will take on... The gym, I think this is Opal. Actually, it must be Opal if people were talking about her. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed, leave a like. Uh, hit the bell if you want to stay updated. Uh, and that's it. See you next time. Mm -hmm.